Hey, beautiful people of the internet. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully great. Welcome to Budget Builds, where we use zero format and achieve maximum efficiency. This is a requested video from KW. Shout out to you. In today's video, we are doing Wukong Prime and his Primal Fury, or AKA the Sun Goku of Warframe. Now, if you guys want me to cover any additional Warframes or weapons, let me know down in the comments. Before I continue with the video, please spot and kick the subscribe button for more Warframe videos. So let's start off with Wukong's passive. After taking fatal damage, Wukong automatically uses one of his mastered survival techniques. These techniques can only be invoked three times per mission. To summarize this, if you are killed as Wukong, he will automatically use one of his five mastered survival techniques. You can only use three of these survival techniques per mission and they are randomly assigned. So let's go over the master techniques he has at his disposal. So the first ability is called or technique is called Primal Forces. You are given 300% additional elemental damage for 60 seconds. Next is Heavenly Cloak. You go invisible for 30 seconds and if you attack an enemy while you're invisible, your position is not revealed. The third ability is called Cosmic Armor. You are invulnerable for 30 seconds. The fourth ability is called Monkey Luck. Enemies that are killed, that they drop additional loot for 60 seconds. And finally, the fifth ability is called Sly Alchemy. Orbs become four times more effective for 60 seconds. So what I mean by orbs is, if you kill an enemy and they drop an energy orb and you pick it up while this ability is active, normally you would gain 25 energy. But when this ability is active, you will gain 100 energy per energy drop, which is really good. Now that we've got the passive out of the way, let's move on to the abilities. So starting off, we have Celestial Twin. Shedding part of himself, Wukong creates a twin to fight by his side. Attack at a range and the twin will melee. Pull a blade and the twin will lay down covering fire. Use again to command the twin to attack a target with increased damage. So in other words, you summon your homie and he will fight by his side. Depending on what weapon you have, he will, uh, he will adapt accordingly. If you time to attack a specific target, they will deal increased damage. Next is Cloudwalker. Evaporate into a cloud of mist and float through the battlefield, dazing enemies and encountered while healing Wukong and himself. This is a very useful technique. It's really good because what happens is you can get yourself out of any sticky situation and you can heal yourself along with your homie in the process. Next is Defy. Wukong and his twin become invulnerable and defy enemies into attacking. All damage is captured, stored and dealt back to the single in the single furious strike of Wukong's staff. Bonus armor is then granted relative to damage captured. So as the thing sa as the description says, you go into this invulnerable state for a small duration. While you're in the state, you'll then aggro the enemies nearby and they'll start to attack you. You'll then capture all the damage and that damage is dealt back to the enemy and all that damage is then converted into your armor. It also benefits your homie at the same time. Makes him also invulnerable. Next, we have Primal Fury. Summon the Iron Staff and unleash Fury. This is Wukong's exalted weapon. He pulls a really long staff and he beats the daylights out of the enemies. So here's Wukong's build. Of course, there is no formal on this build because you guys know the rules. So starting off with the aura, we have Steel Charge. Steel Charge gives us 60% more melee damage. And remember, the Iron Staff itself is a melee weapon, so therefore this mod does affect it. Next, we have Streamline. Streamline gives us 30% more efficiency, that way we don't get caught with our pants down. And also it does affect all the drain based abilities that Wukong has, that being his number one and his number four. We have Narrow Minded and Prime Continuity for more duration. The more duration we have, the longer we can stay in our number one and number four, because both duration and efficiency does affect the drain itself. We have Vitality for more health, that way we don't die. Prime Flow for a bigger energy pool. Auger Secrets, Intensify, and up here you guys can throw in the Power Drift. Just make sure it has, it's a rank 4 one and not a rank 5 one, that way you have more power strength. 
The more power strength you guys have, the more damage your number 4 and your celestial twin will deal and the defy itself will have an increased multiplier that way you can get more armor. And finally we have the augment itself primal rage. Now the way that this works is if you kill an enemy while primal rage is active you'll get 15% more critical chance but it decays by 1% every second which is still very useful. Now for the arcane department I will get to that later because it varies entirely up to you. Melee weapons play a really high role in this loadout particularly. I am using the Chrome Prime because it's my favorite. If you guys don't have the Chrome Prime or don't want to use it, there are alternatives. Just make sure that you guys use a melee weapon that is very similar to the Chrome Prime. And what I mean by that is, when you guys take a look at the stats, make sure that Slash is the main damage type. What I mean by that is, make sure that out of Slash, Puncture and Impact, Slash has the highest value out of the three of them. Next, make sure that the stage chance is relatively high and if you guys want, you guys can go with a weapon that has a very high critical chance, therefore you can do a hybrid build. Now alternatives to the Chrome Prime includes the Gram Prime, the Nami Skylar Prime or the Paracesis or any weapon that has high status and Slash as its main damage type. So let's look into the build itself. Now because I am using the Chrome Prime and it has by default a high crit and a high status and a high slash, I'm going to make a hybrid build. So starting off with our aura, or sorry, our stance, we have Gemini Cross. Next, we have Sacrificial Steel for more crit, Gladiator Rush and Body Count, that way we have a high combo duration. Relentless combination, therefore we can instantly max out our combo multiplier. Blood Rush for more crits. Condition Overload for more damage. Drifting Contact for more stage chance and even more combo duration. And finally, Melee Prowess for more status chance. That way we can proc slash as much as possible. For the Iron Staff itself, we are going to be using Condition Overload for more melee damage per stage type affecting the target. Sacrificial Steel for more crit, Virulent Scourge and Vicious Frost for more elemental damage and stage chance depending on the faction that you guys are facing. So if you're facing Grenier, you can switch to Corrosive. Sacrificial Pressure for more melee damage. Because we have another Sacrificial mod, it will instantly increase Sacrificial Steel's output damage. So we have more crit in this case. And finally, up to you guys. I personally am rolling with Organ Shatter for more damage. If you guys feel that Iron Staff is too slow, then simply replace Organ Shatter with Berserker, like so. Or you can replace Berserker, if you guys don't have Berserker, then change Berserker for regular Fury. It is this mod right here. Now for the Arcane's department, this is depending on what you guys have on your Iron Staff. So on your Iron Staff, if you have Organ Shatter, then add Arcane Strike and Arcane Fury. Arcane Strike gives you the increased attack speed, that way you can compensate for no Berserker and Arcane Fury for more damage. If you guys have Berserker on your Iron Staff, then replace Arcane Strike with Arcane Energize and replace Arcane Fury with Arcane Guardian. If you guys do not want to use Narrowmon and want to continue using Zeneric, you can do so. Relentless Combination will help you keep your or rack up your combo multiplier to max as long as you're using a slash based melee weapon. So for our loadout, we are going to be needing the stat stick. If you don't know what I mean, simply equip a Helios and then equip the Deconstructor. It doesn't matter if it's a regular or prime, just make sure that you have the Helios and the Deconstructor and then on the Deconstructor itself, you want to add these three mods. Gladiator Vice, Gladiator Might, and Gladiator Rush. What this does is, you will be given 30% more critical chance per combo multiplier you have. Now that we know exactly what we need for our loadout, let me show you how this loadout works. So let's just grab some energy and spawn in some heavy gunners. Now that they're spawned, we want to go up to these heavy gunners and max out our combo multiplier. Now thanks to Relentless Combination, it'll be done so quickly. Now that it's maxed out, 
pull out your number 4 and start slapping away to these enemies. Now in order for the augment to work, Primal Fury, we need to kill these bombards, sorry gunners in order to get the full critical chance. And as you guys can see, I am at maximum crit and I am constantly orange critting like so. And also let's say that you guys notice the top right that it's at like a 0 times or 0 times 1 you guys can go and just refresh the combo counter again so simply deactivate your number 4 pull out your melee weapon this being the Cronin Prime in this case simulate the enemies and go and attack them maxing out your combo once more time and then once it's maxed out just bash them again and max out your Primal Fury and once that's maxed out you'll have your max crit back up again and also for those who are wondering why is my gladiator statistic staying out for longer it's because of the combo duration mods i have all in all wukong is an amazing warframe he's got good survivability and he's got a really good kit for taking out enemies and getting yourself out of sticky situations however there is one thing that i really do wish that de would buff and that would be wukong's iron staff and i'm not saying increase the damage but i am saying is maybe increase the default critical chance or maybe change the main damage type from impact to slash you know just some ideas out there but i'm not saying that wukong is terrible you just need to know how to mod him and use him but anyways that's all i have for today's video if you guys liked the video and if it's helped you leave a like spot and kick the subscribe button for more warframe videos i'm gonna make like a banana and split